So tell me, what makes a great resume from your perspective? Yeah, so there are a few different things that, that come to mind. I think number one, um, I would say PDFing your resume. It's, it's a really simple, quick and easy one, but um, I really do think it can make a big difference these days. Um, a PDF is just more of a, a polished, kind of professional, complete looking document. Of course, uh, a little bit more difficult to, to edit on uh, the reader's side and that kind of thing. So you really want your resume to come off as that complete and polished sort of personal branding document, if, if you will. Um, secondly, I think um, kind of related to PDFing your, your resume, but including any sort of links, whether it's your email address, your LinkedIn URL, uh, a portfolio website, or, or anything like that, um, including those as clickable hyperlinks within the PDF uh, it can really make a difference these days as well. Um, the majority of resumes are being reviewed digitally, so um, it's, it just makes it for a much smoother and, and more efficient reader experience for the recruiter or hiring leader when they're able to just kind of click uh, onto those links, open up your email, send you a, a contact uh, message if, if they like, um, or again, just to, to review your LinkedIn profile or, or any work samples that you may have. Um, it's, it just makes things more efficient for, for the person on the other side, of course. Um, thirdly, I think, is really to focus on your, your achievements and accomplishments um, as opposed to just the tasks or, or responsibilities that you might have accomplished in a previous job. Um, recruiters and, and hiring leaders, again, will typically assume that you know how to do kind of the, the core responsibilities of a job if, if they see the title and, and understand the basic organization and everything like that. So um, you really wanna kind of make yourself stand out, talk about what makes you unique, what are the specific uh, tangible or, or measurable kind of accomplishments and achievements and, and value that you've realistically provided uh, in that role or, or to that organization because at the end of the day, that's gonna, uh, gonna be what sort of separates you from the other candidates that have a potentially similar level of experience and, and that sort of thing. I'm okay with, with color, I think, um, but it can't be too much or, or too in your face or um, too difficult to, to read. At, at the end of the day, it really should be just something that's legible and, and easy to follow. Um, recruiters are typically only spending anywhere from as little as five seconds to maybe 30 seconds on the high end um, reviewing a specific resume. So um, the most important thing is to have kind of clear formatting, clear headings, um, commonly used headings, I would say, at that as well, so that uh, the person reading knows where to find and then pick out certain pieces of information. So that's the, the more important piece, I think, the headings, the, the structure of the content itself. And um, you can add in little bits and pieces of color or design elements and that sort of thing um, mm -hmm. as you please. But it, it just the, the important thing to remember is that it shouldn't take away from uh, the content and, and sort of the ease of uh, reading for, for the uh, recruiter.